Hello, in this tutorial, we are going to be looking at setting up our pipe class. So the pipe class will be the system that spawns and moves the obstacles, aka the pipes that our fabby bird that will be avoiding. So we've created all the states and now let's start implementing the pipe system. So the first thing I'm going to do is, as usual, go to the definition.hpp. We need to create some definitions for the pipes file path. So to do that, let's do hash define. We're going to do pipe underscore. So there's going to be one pipe that faces up, one pipe that faces down. And we're going to do file path. Just copy and paste this to save some time. And this is just called pipe up. And the pipe down, I think you can guess what this is going to be called and what the actual image is called, like so. Once you've done that, what you want to do is create a HPP and a CPP for the pipe system. So do the same, do it the same way that you've done for Xcode, Visual Studio, or any other IDE that you're using. So for me, it's just right click new file, C. Create a header as well, and this is going to be just simply called pipe. I'm going to add the other target if I'm if I'm on Xcode, and I'm going to get rid of actually leave that in the pipe.hpp. We get rid of all the code that's already here. Put hash pragma once. Close this part down so it's just easier to see. And put hash include sfml for slash graphics.hpp because we'll be using that for stuff like sprites we're going to do hash include game.hpp we'll be using this because we're going to be passing in the data object which allows us to access stuff like the window and we're going to do a hash include include the vector library because this is what's going to store our sprites aka our points once they spawn so now we need to do namespace, just use the same namespace that you've used before. So for me, sonar, a class of pipe. And we are going to have two public methods at the moment. First is going to be the constructor, which is going to take a game data ref, and it's going to be called data. We're going to have a void. And this is going to be called draw pipes, which I think you can guess what this does. This draws all the pipes. And we're going to have two private variables. First is going to be the game data ref, the same that we've done before. And next, we're going to have a vector of SF sprites, which will contain all of the pipes that have been spawned. And I'm going to call this pipe sprites, like so. And now what we want to do is open up the pipe.cpp. And in here, we can just get rid of this commenting. And we want to do name space sonar. Close this down as well. So it's just, again, easier to see. I'm going to do pipe. So this is just the constructor. And it's going to be simple game data ref data and this is just going to be automatically assigned to the underscore data like so this is going to be left empty for now we're going to do void pipe draw pipes and in here is where we would draw all of our pipes so we need to loop over the pipe sprites vector to do that just do four unsigned short int i equals zero while i is less than pipe sprites dot size i plus plus and we're just going to do underscore data window dot draw and in here we specify the pipe so we just do pipe sprites dot at I like so. So now that we've actually implemented the basics of our pipe class, 
in our game state .hpp. So if you just go to the game state header, what we need to do now is include the pipe header. So do hash include pipe.hpp, like so. And we just need to create a pipe object. So do pipe asterisk pipe. So it's a pointer to a pipe object that will be signed in in a moment. And now what you want to do is go to your game state CPP. And now in the initialization part over here, we need to first load some more texture. So if we just duplicate this, we are going to be loading in the pipe textures that we created as definitions in our definition file right here. So this is just going to be called pipe up. Ooh, what happened there? So this is going to be called pipe up and we need to get the correct file path. And this is going to be very similar. This is going to be called pipe down. Pipe down you. I just couldn't resist. And this is going to be pipe down file path. Just two more things till we're done. Next, we need to create our pipe object. So pipe equals new pipe. And we just pass in the data ref. So that can access everything from the window and anything else that it needs to. And if we go down here, we are just going to do pipe draw pipes and we want to do this after the background because we want this to appear on the top so if we run this now make sure we get no errors which we haven't build be successful splash state will go to our games i mean our main menu state click play and that is it you won't be thinking can't see any pipes and that is because while we have the code to actually draw them we don't have any pipes in our vector yet and we'll actually be, co be covering that in a separate video. We'll be covering how to spawn them, how to spawn them in different Y locations, how to move them, and how to do all of that really, really cool stuff. So if you have any questions, feel free to post them on my educational platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. If you want to check out the source code from this video and every video in this series, there will be a GitHub link company in this video and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day